Hi everyone, in this quick video from Count Backwards from 10, I'm going to go ahead and teach you how to place a double lumen endotracheal tube and then how to confirm our placement using a bronchoscope. Now, these techniques are my own. Anytime you use any type of equipment, please be sure to check the manufacturer's guidelines and recommendations. So, I've been lucky enough to work with Verathon, uh, the makers of Glidescope, and the B-Flex single-use bronchoscope. And so, we're going to go ahead and show you how to place one of these 35 French double lumen tubes and check its positioning. So, let's get started. So, we have our workstation here. I have two syringes, one for the tracheal, one for the bronchial cuff. We have our adapter. This will get attached to our Ambu bag or to our ventilator, whatever we're going to use, and you'll see how that goes on afterwards. And then we have our double lumen tube all set up and ready to go. So, I'm going to go ahead and use my right hand using a scissor method. My thumb is going to go to the mandible. My middle finger goes to the maxilla in order to the open the jaw. I'm going to go ahead and take my blade in my left hand and we're going to go ahead and go right in. Now you can see our molecula right in this space here and the tip of the blade is in that space. Our epiglottis is right here and we're going to go ahead and open up the vocal cords right there. Now the tube, you see how the tip points up? We're going to go ahead and put it in pointing upwards and you'll see why because shortly after we're going to go ahead and rotate it. Now anytime we use these rigid stylets we always want to drive from the back now see, we have passed the vocal cords. The important part here is going to be to remove the rigid stylet before we go any further. You can see here that our blue bronchial cuff has passed through the vocal cords and our tracheal cuff is here. This is our epiglottis and our molecular space where the end of the scope is sitting. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove our rigid stylet. And the reason is that if this goes into the trachea, it can really cause a lot of damage. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and pull it out and it's going to go towards the feet. We're going to go ahead and make sure that we still have that nice view. And we're going to go ahead and rotate our tube to the left as we advance it in. And the reason we rotate to the left is that we need to make sure that that left-sided tube goes down to the left main stem bronchus. Okay? So once our tube is in, we're going to go ahead and we're going to inflate our tracheal cuff because that's going to allow us to ventilate to both lungs. And we are going to attach our adapter here. And like I mentioned before, this is going to go ahead and get plugged into our ventilator or our ambu bag. We're gonna go ahead and grab our Glidescope B-Flex 3.8 single use bronchoscope. And we're gonna open it up. And this is what we're gonna to use to check our tube placement, okay? So this just pops off, pops on here, magnetically, which is actually really nice. And you can see the feature of our picture in picture, uh, our glide scope here on A and our uh, bronch here on B. So now we're gonna go ahead and grab our B-Flex 3.8 bronchoscope, which is the only one you can use down the double lumen endotracheal tubes. And I'm gonna hang it here on the workstation because I now don't need an extra pair of hands. And we're gonna go ahead and feed our bronchoscope right through our bronchial lead. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off now so I can make sure I can get it all the way in. And I have my camera adjustment here. We're gonna go all the way down. And the goal is we need to see the carina. And boom, there it is. You can see our tracheal rings are forward and our uh, flat, soft areas in the back. But this needs to go into the left main bronchus. So we're gonna go ahead and advance our two. And now we can see right here in the left main stem and now we're just gonna kinda of do the same exact thing. I'm gonna hook this back up here for one second. We're gonna close this off. We're gonna go ahead and go down our tracheal tube now. And we're just gonna go ahead and make sure that we're in the right position and that our balloon is appropriately placed in the left. And there you have it. Our tracheal rings are in the front. Our cuff is right there and we can just advance it a little bit more if we need. And now we have right above the carina. Okay, cuff is in place. We'll go ahead, pull our scope out, close this up, and go ahead and inflate for whichever kind of lung isolation we need. 